like super warm in here. Oh, we're back for the second weekend of winter weekends at Butch Gardens, Virginia. It's a little colder this week. I think the same rides are closed, but let's see what we can see. So we thought last week was empty, but uh, this is crazy. I mean, there is not a single other guest within sight. And we're like, I mean, it's, the event's open. It's not like we're before that started or anything, so. But they do have the fireplace running. Yeah, most of the coasters, there's a sign out front, all the coasters are closed, uh, Finnegan's Flyer. So, which. I'm guessing the catapult's running, I don't see anybody over there. Propane. Hardly any heat. Uh, oh yeah, it's running. There's a cast member over there, but nobody to ride. It is a great night if you just like enjoying the park and walking around and seeing the actual buildings and everything because there's nobody in your way. You also get some great photos. I don't think I've ever heard it this quiet in the park. And actually last week, they did have animals over there, but they don't even have those this week. And everybody you see walking around are employees.
it's the 618. So the event just started for the night. <laughs> Ring toss is even closed. We do have animals. It looks like all the games are closed. We found some animals though. Even the penguin is puffed up like he's cold. <laughs> Still have to go around to the side to stay uh, socially distanced, even though I think we're the only ones here. In line for food. All of the tables have been socially distanced. All right, well, we're here for the 6.30 show, which is probably like, I don't know, seven or eight minutes. So, let's find a seat. All right, it's official. We're the only ones in the fest house for the 6.30 show. Costa Rica, where they protect the rainforest, 
That's a make sure that he gets the force, he has habitat, and he's running. Right now he's taking apart the entire thing. <laughs> You guys want to watch him just for the rest of the show? We'll see if he can take the whole thing off. <laughs> and this one over here. Yeah, that one's done, darling. And that one, very, very intelligent, isn't it? Just an amazing animal. Um, that's, that is the Albafrons capuchin monkey. His name is Darwin. Let's say hi to Darwin here. Come on, buddy. All right, good boy. It's your about to be Julius Squeezer. 11 feet, 90 pounds, and a beautiful picture called the Burmese Python. <laughs> <laughs> this, McKenna, you gotta help him all the time. I got it, Kevin. Come here, come here, McKenna. Just take that right there. Oh, you just be gentle and be in the end. Whatever you do, don't hurt Julius. There you go, perfect. All right. Give McKenna a hand. She's doing a good job. <laughs> now, the animal that belongs in the Everglades. This is the alligator. This is the American alligator. You guys have seen these on TV and in YouTube videos and everything. It's an amazing creature that is all over the place now. As a matter of fact, we have alligators in places we've never seen them before now. Do you know that you right now are sitting, well, not only close to this guy, but in the wild less than an hour from here? They have moved up into North Carolina and they keep moving north. I would expect that probably in the next 50 years or so, they'll be up here in Virginia. So, all right, you're, you, you said goodbye to an alligator your whole life, now you get to do it for real. How do you say goodbye to an alligator? See you later, alligator. Very good, thank you. Did you all enjoy those animals? I hope you did, I hope you learned something. Tonight we're going to try to watch fireworks over by Pompeii. they got all these little circles spread out that they let you stand in. I'm not exactly sure how you can watch fireworks under that. 